I'm Joe Kirshner with American Water College. Watch as I use my five-step approach to solve this problem. This problem reads, how many gallons of water can 5,400 feet of 8-inch pipe hold? So this is simply a volume problem. We have an 8-inch pipe that's 5,400 feet long, and we need to calculate how many gallons of water are in this pipe. Okay, so we're looking for gallons. They told us that we have 5,400 feet of 8-inch pipe. Now, something to remember, when we're dealing with pipe diameters, we don't want to work with our diameter in inches. And we really don't want to work with radius either. Okay, I'm going to show you why I have this volume formula different. We don't use pi r squared. We use a different number, that 0.785 times diameter squared. We don't want to work with inches. So we need to divide 8 by 12 to get this into feet. And when we do that, that comes up to 0.66666, and it repeats all the way out. So I, I rounded it right here to 0.667 feet, okay? If I just kept going a bunch of sixes, I'd get a slightly different answer at the end, but I just went out three decimal places and called it 667. Okay, so this is the number I'm gonna use for my pipe diameter. Step two has us pick a formula. Well, the formula for volume in gallons is 0.785 times the diameter times the diameter. Okay, so this is the uh, getting the area, the cross-sectional area of the pipe times the length. And if this was a, a tank, it'd be, this length would be depth. But in this case, it's the length of the pipe times this equivalent or this unit conversion that says there's 7.48 gallons Per cubic foot. So what's happening here is this part of the formula, 0.785 times diameter times diameter times length, will give us our volume in cubic feet. We then multiply that by 7.48 gallons per cubic foot, and that'll give us our volume in gallons. So this formula, it's in the flashcards, and I think instead of length, it might say depth, but this works for pipes that are laying down where there's a length, and it also works for tanks that are standing up, that are you know, circular or cylind cylindrical tanks. This would be depth instead of length. We don't need to do step three because it's arranged how we want it. So step four, we're going to plug in our numbers. So notice I put in our 0.667 twice because it's diameter squared, and then our 5,400 foot length and the 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. And that gives us a total volume of 14,106 gallons. Now, something worth noting, if, if I would have went 0.666666, as many numbers as my calculator held, I would probably get about 14,092 gallons. Well, as far as significant digits go, that's the same answer. And on your exam, they tell you, the instructions say to pick the best answer. And we don't really know if they round off in their intermediate steps or if they don't round off, but you're gonna get a number fairly close to one of the answer choices. So you're gonna pick the best answer or the closest answer to what you get once you finish your math problem. If you need additional help preparing for a state license exam, Click the link below and we'll get you some more information about our license-specific exam prep courses.